Hey, what's up everybody? What's going on? Uh, it's Bobby back with a brand new video. Hope you guys enjoy this one. This whole area used to be a, uh, a resort back in the day. I don't know when, 50, 60, something like that. They have a golf course, they have a big lake. Um, there's a lot of like uh, cabin kind of looking houses in the area. However, this place is a little sketchy, only for one reason. I don't know who owns the property, so I'm not trying to stay here for a long time. And you're probably thinking, well, who cares? Well, the Scientology compound headquarters that hold people against their will, whatever they are, they're right down the street. They're actually almost across the street. So I don't know what's going to happen if they show up. Then you're under arrest for trespassing. No, no, of course you're under arrest for trespassing. There you go! The Church of Scientology bought most of it in the 80s, and these ones are a little more not right across the street. There's some really good ones across the street, but these ones are down a ways. They may still own this. They have surveillance all up and down the highway. I don't know if they're going to show up at any time, so, you know, they're, they got a bad name right now, not only in the media, but if you just look up what's going on over there, I don't know why the federal government doesn't go in there and, uh, and, and take some people by the balls, you know, they did it with Waco, Texas, you know, they did it with uh, James, jo James Jones in the 70s, you know, all you youngsters are probably like, who, who, but yeah, they're rumored to hold people against their will, I don't know what they're up to, and I may be on their property. Let me show you guys around and uh, try to get out of here before, you know, I get eaten, you know, before uh, I get taken to some compound somewhere. I don't know. Let's do this. It's all covered like this, but I guess you and I are gonna find out. Hello. Why the windows are covered like this? I don't know. That's why I got the mask. This is pretty old school, that shower is pretty old. Okay. I hear this was some sort of a motel for the resort. Little kitchen area. Let's go see another one. There's about... There's about five or six on this property alone. Let's go check it out. Hello. Obviously some, uh, what? If that's not creepy, you guys. Wow. I hope they're referring to another Bobby. That's a little strange. That's where somebody was crashing out for the night. Uh-oh, I see some uh, narcotic paraphernalia. Oh yeah, look at that. Anybody know what that is? I'm going to be real cautious. I'm going to watch my step. 
Yeah. Look at that, you guys. That is one of the dangers of urban exploring. You guys see that? Yeah. Yeah, some homeless remnants. They're hanging out by the side of the freeway. I think they call that flying a flag. Trying to get some money. But there is, there you go. There is a lot of uh, needles around here. So I'm just going to be super careful. And, uh, yeah. Be super careful. Especially with this room. Don't want to get poked in any way. Let's check out some of the other rooms. Yeah, that, uh, that room back there was pretty disgusting. Wish those people would just get some help. Call it a day, you know? Seems like this structure like sank. It's like really low to the ground. That's a trip. It's crazy. Old ass uh, little motel rooms. Same thing over here. Let's go check out that one. I'm gonna go around the back. I don't really want to be seen in the street side. Damn, there's two more back there I didn't see. I wonder why they're covered up with tape and plastic. Like, is someone in the process of painting it? Hello. Pretty strange. Somebody's doing something. Oh wow, this is pretty big. Was this like one house you could have rented back in the day? I don't know. That would have been kind of sweet if there was a lake across the street. Come by here with the family. Back in the day, it's probably like everybody looked like the Brady Bunch. Old school little afros. All that old school stuff. Yeah, dude. You don't see that in uh, KB Home style anymore. <laughs> That's a trip. Really uh, retro, or what do they call that? Vintage, I don't know. Bonk, 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 bonk. Old school shit. Wow, look at that ceiling too. Oh yeah. Definitely. Yeah, somebody's doing something. I don't know if they're trying to break all this asbestos out. That's definitely asbestos, you guys. You know, you don't have to be a, a rocket scientist. You don't have to be a real smart dude. When you see little tiny micro baby freaking tile like this, it's not too common. Floor like this is not too common. Fireplace, definitely that ceiling. They don't make that anymore. You got to know that that is asbestos. The material that they made all this roofing stuff out of has asbestos and you really really need a mask you know if you if you do this as much as i do i encourage that you guys go to walmart the one i'm wearing costs five bucks it's got a little filter on it 
and I really like it, you know. Don't go exploring old buildings without a mask. Yeah, you never know what could happen. Asbestos is known to give people cancer. All right, everybody. I'm going to wrap this video up. Even though there was, I don't know, six or so abandoned houses, there really isn't much to see. They're all gutted. But, you know, I just had to do it. Had to do it. So, yeah, I'm going to get out of here before some Scientologists come in. I don't know, but I think they own this property still. Anyways, who knows? Drop me a like. Drop me a comment. If anybody's got any tips anywhere in Southern California about an abandoned place or a haunted location, let me know, and uh, I'll check it out. All right, see you guys in the next video. Later.